Hi everyone, this is Eugene Michel from AI2 3D Forensic Animations and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, one technique that could be used by uh, CSI people for uh, forensic work. One of the technologies that can be used to document evidence is photogrammetry. And what photogrammetry is, is just the science of taking measurements from photographs. So this is especially useful in hard to reach places, you know, something that could be you know, two stories or three stories up, or when you're trying to document something that uh, you need to take pictures of very quickly because it may not be there in a few minutes, um, just like this footprint that I have here that is just a, a water footprint on the ground. So I knew that in a few minutes it was uh, starting to evaporate. You can uh, sort of see here that it has changed slightly from when I prepared this particular photo, especially down in the, uh, in the, in the heel area. So it's extremely useful when you want to take measurements of something you can't really touch or you can't get close to just by using photographs. The other thing that I was able to do was, um, because I was there, was put down some targets and this is just some circular targets just to make it easier for me. Now I actually didn't need that because in this case I have a lot of corners and intersecting lines and sort of things that I could use to relate from one photo to the other. And that's a key concept in photogrammetry. If you have several photos, you need to be able to relate um, certain points in one photograph to another. So once we do that, and I switch over to the um, photogrammetry software, you can see that I've, I've put down a plane where the ground was, and I've also put an outline of the uh, footprint there. And this is fantastic because um, you can imagine somebody trying to sit there uh, while this um, you know, uh, water is, or footprint is evaporating and disappearing, you know, trying to mark out uh, you know, where certain lines are or how to measure a cross or, you know, I guess you could sort of draw a chalk outline of where it was, but this, this particular method is extremely, extremely accurate. And I, I can take this here and export it to a CAD package now for further analysis. So this is just another quick demonstration of how uh, photogrammetry can be used in forensic work.